What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Sianyo and welcome back to our video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Daytona 500 starting lineup, the 64th running of the Daytona 500. We are looking at the starting lineup for the Daytona 500. Let's jump into it. Starting on the pole in this year's Daytona 500, we have defending NASCAR Cup Series champion Kyle Larson in the 5 for Hendrick Motorsports. And on his outside, we have a driver who won four races in the NASCAR Cup Series last year, Alex Bowman, who will be driving the 48 car this year. On row number two, starting third, we have 2012 NASCAR Cup Series champion Brad Gazzas. He'll be joining a new organization this year at RFK Racing. And on his outside, we have his teammate in the 17 car who has one career Cup Series victory that came at Pocono in 2016. We have Chris Buescher, one dual one, and also Brad Gazzas. one will do, we'll do two for Chris Buescher, and dual number one for Brad Gazzas was third. Then in row number three, we've got the 2020 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion who'll be jumping full-time to Cup Series, going to two for Team Penske, Austin Center. And on his outside, we have defending Daytona 500 winner Michael McDowell in the 34 car. Starting his son position, we have the winner of three NASCAR Cup Series races last year, including the last time we raced here at Daytona National Speedway, Ryan Blaney in the 12 car. And on his outside, we have a rookie contender in the 21 for Wood Brothers, Harrison Byrne, who will be making his second NASCAR Cup Series start in this year's Daytona 500. Starting in nine position, we have the Rookie of the Year winner, I believe, last year in the 14 car for SHR, Chase Briscoe. We'll be looking to have a better year this year. And on his outside, we have two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion Kyle Busch in the 18 car. Starting 11th in this year's Daytona 500, we have 2020 NASCAR Cup Series champion and winner of one Super Speed race at Talladega, Chase Elliott. And on his outside, we have the 20 car that will be driven by Chris Sibel, who has one NASCAR Cup Series victory and trying to make up for the mistakes that he made in last year's Daytona 500 in the early portions of his race. Starting in 13th position in this year's Daytona 500, we have the driver of the 43 for Petty GMS Motorsports, Eric Jones, who has one win here at Daytona in the 20 car for uh, Joe Gibbs Racing back in 2018. As on his outside, we have the driver of the 19 for Joe Gibbs Racing, Mark Trick Jr., to defend the 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion. Starting in 15th in this year's Daytona 500, we have Tyler Reddick in the A car. will be looking for his first career NASCAR Cup Series victory. And on his outside, we have the win or winner of the last Super Speedway race who ran at Talladega Super Speedway. We have Bubba Walls in the 23 car. will be looking to go back-to-back -back in Super Speedway victories and looks to be poised to kick off 2022 on the right note. Starting in 17th, we have the teammate of Bubba Walls in 2017 Daytona 500 winner and 2004 NASCAR Cup Series champion Kurt Busch. And on his outside in the 47 for JTD Doherty Racing, we have two-time winner of Super Speedways who won both of them in 2017. We have Ricky Stenhouse Jr. for JT Doherty Racing in the 47 car. Starting in 19th in this year's Daytona 500, we have a driver that's very, very aggressive at Super Speedways and won at Daytona 2019 in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. We have Ross Chassin in the one car. And in 20th position, we have Joe Logano, who will start in, who will, who won the 2015 Daytona 500, who will also have to go to the rear of the field, most likely due to a backup car. Starting in 21st, we have 2016 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Daniel Suarez in the 99 car. And on his outside, we have one-time Cup Series champion in 2014 and 2007 Daytona 500 winner Kevin Harvick, who will start 22nd. Starting 23rd in this year's Daytona 500, we have a winner here at Daytona in 2020 in the summer going into the fall. William Byron, the 24 car, looks to start off the year well. And on his outside, we have Corey LeJoy, who's pretty good at Super Speedways, and the 7 car will start in 24th. Starting in 25th, we have a driver who's really good in Xfinity Series at Super Series, scoring four victories in Super Series, all of his career victories in Xfinity. We have Justin Haley in the 25th position, and on his outside, we have a driver who's really good at Super Series and has one Xfinity Series victory in 2014 and makes his return to the Cup Series. We have Ty Dillon in the 42 car. Starting at 27th, we've got the driver, the 77 for Spire Motorsports, that is being driven by Landon Cass, who is a pretty decent Super Speed racer, and on his outside, making his first NASCAR Cup Series start since since 2016 at Homestead Miami Speedway, we have Gray Bivel for NY Racing, who is arguably the fastest of the end, basically the best of the open cars. He will start 28th, most likely 26th in this year's Daytona 500. Starting at 29th, you have the driver for Furman Motorsports in a 38 car, a driver who performed extremely well in these races in the past and really decent super speed racer. We have Todd Gill in 29th, and on his outside, three-time Daytona 500 winner, looking to become only the third driver to win four Daytona 500s, we have Denny Hamlin in 30th. Starting 31st in this year's Daytona 500, we have 2020 Rookie of the Year winner Cole Custer looking to start the year off well by trying to get a second career victory after only having one career victory so far at Kentucky. And on his outside, we have Cody Ware in the 51 car who's looking to get Brickware Racing their first Cup Series victory. 
Starting in 33rd, we have the Fenning NASCAR Xfinity Series champion who won the last time we were in the Xfinity Series at Phoenix National Speedway. We've got Daniel Hemrick in the 16 car. And on his outside, we have 2011 July winner here at Daytona National Speedway, David Reagan, who's looking for his third career NASCAR Cup Series victory for Rick Ware. Starting in 35th, we've got the money team we're making here their NASCAR Cup Series debut with young hotshot Kaz Grawl, who'll be looking for his first current NASCAR Cup Series victory, a very prolific super speed racer who'll be very, very fast with the money team. They make the show. And on his outside in 36, we've got 2018 Daytona 500 winner who won in a controversial fashion, Austin Dillon, who is in the three car. Starting in 37th in this year's Daytona 500, we have Live Fast Motorsports, which will be driven, of course, by B.J. McLeod in the 78 car. And on his outside, We've got a driver who's really good at super speedways who will be making this last Daytona 500 attempt. We have Eric Amaral in the 30A car. Starting in 39th, we've got the driver who was really good as a dirty, aggressive driver at super speedways and also scored three victories last year in Xfinity. We've got No Grayson who's making his Cup Series debut. And on his outside, we have 1997 Formula One champion Jacques Villeneuve for Team Hazelberg. This is the first time that an F1 champion has ever raced in the Daytona 500, and he is extremely excited. The two cars that did not make the show, two MBM cars, that being Timmy Hill and also J.J. Yealy. And that is your starting lineup. Now let's talk about the drivers who are the ones to watch and keep an eye on. Of course, obviously, Denny Hamill, three-time Daytona 500 winner. He's going to be very fast. He'll be looking for his fourth Daytona 500. Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney won the last time we were at Daytona National Speedway, and he's gotten three victories as Super Speedways. Keep an eye on Ryan Blaney as he looks to go back-to-back -back at Daytona. Also, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski looked really, really good in the duels and was really, really fast in the race. I expect that Brad Keselowski is going to be very, very quick. Next driver I've got is Bubba Wallace is one to watch. Bubba Wallace seems to be very, very quick at Super Speedways. As like I mentioned, he won the last time at Super Speedway and had not been for the loose wheel that happened in 2017 at Daytona, 20 last year at Daytona, excuse me. He would have been contending overall for the victory and probably could have helped Denny Hamill score the victory. He could have gotten victory for 23-11 and technically their first race. Other drivers watch, of course, Joey Logano. Joey Logano, 2015 Daytona 500 winner, who's going to be very aggressive and one to watch. And, of course, all the other drivers that are going to be tending is the Daytona 500 here tomorrow, and I'm very, very excited to get the season rolling. And that is your official starting grid for this year's Daytona 500. So, anyway, that's it for today's NASCAR video. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to notifications on Spino 5 when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's get below for that and comment with your thoughts on today's video. Who do you think is going to win this year's Daytona 500? Let me know in the comments below. And again, think your boss, you like the starting group videos or not? Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow is the Daytona 500, and I've got something cool that is going to be coming on Monday that I might reveal after the Daytona 500 race view. Just check your eyes because I've got something that's really cool coming out for the channel here on Monday. So anyway... Like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.